Hey everybody, this is Freddy Off and welcome back to another Minecraft episode on the AlphaCraft server. We're back down at the Patron Pals Hall of Heroes again to start with today because I want to pay tribute and say a big thank you to Hesiana and to Bunny Bond for becoming my newest patrons. Uh, and as is the norm, I'm going to stick them in the Patron Pals Hall of Heroes with a, a suit of armor and a and a mob head. So. Essiana wants uh, purple armor, which is lovely. I do love purple. And she's asked me to choose her head. I'm going to give her an Enderman head because I think it'll go well with purple. And I've also got lots and lots of Enderman heads anyway. <laughs> That's not it's not the only reason. However, it is a reason. So I'm going to, going to put you down here. Here you go. Pride of place. Beautiful, beautiful purple armor. And a spanking Enderman head. That looks fantastic. Right, we'll give you a sign. Give me a sign, man. Give me a sign. There you go. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And the next one is, is Bunny Bond, a.k.a. Bunny. I think we'll call her Bunny from now on. And Bunny wanted pink which we've got, and she wanted me to choose a head. Uh, the only two heads I have that remotely look, you know, look half decent with, with pink would be a, a salmon and a magma cube. So I want you guys, or Bunny, I suppose, I'd like Bunny to just tell me which one she prefer. I mean, you can always let me know in the comments which ones you think looks the best. So that's, that's pink with a salmon head. I think that looks nice. That's nice enough. Wrong one. Wrong one. Get the head, man. Get the head. And then pink with a magma cube head. And again, that looks okay. That goes, doesn't it? So I'm going to leave that up to Bunny. Uh, she's going to you got, let me know, Bunny, in the uh, in the comments or send me a message in Discord. Um, one way or the other, let me know whether a salmon head or a magma head is what you want. And obviously, we'll give you a sign too. So there you go. Bunny and Hesiana, welcome to the Patreon Pals Hall of Heroes. And thank you, thank you, thank you for becoming my latest patrons. Your support is incredible, all of you. Uh, and I, I couldn't do this without you. So thank you very, very much. Now we've got the most important thing out of the way. It's uh, time for us to head over to spawn. Hello, guys. Hello, mate. Because we've got some... I've had a visitor. Look at that. Sea Love. Sea Love and JJ have been to see me. Thank you, Sea Love, um, and uh, and JJ. Appreciate you coming over. You're always welcome. You know you are. So we're heading off over to spawn because I have a little job to do for JJ and Wild in the station. We're going to be putting in a couple of things. We're going to be putting in a massive clock on the outside of the of the station facing the Iron Alpha. Uh, but uh, first of all, we're going to put a little clock inside because stations aren't complete without a clock, are they? I mean, how many stations have you ever been to that doesn't that don't have a clock in them? None. I'll tell you that for nothing. None. Unless it's a petrol station. But they don't count. So uh, I'm going to stick a little one in the uh, above the information desk at the uh, in the station. But before we do that, I'm just going to have a quick look at this. Because Dreamer's been busy over here. Look at this, this is looking fantastic. Yes, liking this lots. That is beautiful. Really good. And this one, this is, I believe this is Kenny. Whoa, and there's Smurf out of nowhere. Smurf out of nowhere. Roadhog. And this is, uh, I think this is Kenny's. Although I'm not sure, don't quote me on that. Because I haven't seen his latest stream at the time of doing this. But he wants me, he wanted me to build a furnace of some kind to make him some nether brick. Um, but there doesn't appear to be a great deal of nether brick in here unless this is going to do something else. I'm not sure. I'll have to look into that. But they're starting to come together. They're starting to look, that's, that's bright, isn't it? That's beautiful. So the plan is to stick the clock there. I've currently got um, the the outline of it, what it's going to look like there. Now, the only problem 
is, and it's only a little problem, I'm just going to put black concrete around that and that would make it look really, really good in my texture pack. However, in the standard default texture pack, it doesn't look like that. Obviously, it's got the default texture, so I'm just going to flick back to the, the standard texture. And that's what it looks like. It's not, it's nowhere near as pronounced. And obviously, if I put black concrete around that now, it's going to look pretty pants. So I, I may well just leave the face and let JJ Wild or Kenny or, or Fox or somebody, somebody else just to do, just to do the face because um, in my texture pack, it won't look uh, anywhere. It, it won't look like it, it looks in my texture pack. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So uh, what I need to do to start with then is I'll need to put a fake floor just above above here uh, and then I can start building I'm I'm yeah I'll, I'll leave the back if I leave the back open to the window then you'll be able to see in and you'll be able to see all the redstoney stuff working won't you right uh, I'm gonna flick back to my better than default texture pack and then grab some gear and we'll start doing a little bit of work Okay, so I've put the false ceiling in and I've started to put down the blocks that I'm going to be putting the redstone on and I've, I've made them all a different colour. A, so I can see what goes where and B, hopefully that might make it more interesting for you guys to see as well. I mean, if it doesn't really fit in with the theme of the entire building with it being steampunky and stone. Um, but if the, if the alphas don't like it, I guess I'm just going to have to change it, but it's going to be just going to make it easier for me. Um, I'm probably going to run out of space as well. The idea is that obviously each one of these has got a redstone line on it and they can't be linked, they can't overlap and they've all got to light up these redstone light lamps in the wall and it is quite difficult. It's not as easy as it looks. That's if it actually does look easy. Uh, and they, it's going to be operated via a, a silent hopper timer, which is one on my channel. If you don't, if you've never seen one, if you don't know what one looks like, there's a link. Uh, I'll, I'll put a link in the description to the silent hopper timer, which we're going to be using. We're going to be using two of them, actually, and also a, a line of hoppers. Now, I did toy with the idea of using the same mechanism that I used on the Iron Alpha to open the sticky pistons for the doors, and that would have worked. I, I got that working, but I think I'll stick with the hoppers because I can, I think, and it takes up a little bit less space, but, and I'm not going to have enough space here as it is so let me grab some comparators and some repeaters and a little bit of redstone to start with and some hoppers probably need torches as well do i need anything else for the time being no excellent so we're going to need uh some comparators coming five six seven eight there are going to be eight hoppers so we're going to need eight comparators and we need it to start, it's going to go clockwise, so we need the hoppers to start here and point that way. If we stick down temporary block just there, grab some droppers, hoppers, hoppers, droppers, droppers, hoppers, do, 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 like that. And that way, Things are going to go into that and then into that one and then into that one and the clock will go clockwise. Oops. Oops. Perfect. And then we need to stick some redstone dust on top of all of these hoppers. These need to be locked and then only opened uh, when the clock tells it to open and that way and once they're all locked an item will stay in there until it's unlocked and then the item will move to the next one and then it'll move to the next one it's a basic hopper counting kind of system okay so i've put all of the redstone in i've just did it to save a little bit of time where this this episode's cracking on <laughs> cracking on already uh, so i've put the put all the redstone lines in uh, none of them are overlapping so they're not interfering with each other and if we just pop out the front and have a look we can see that each of the hands works independently now 
it, it, it's it's clock shaped and it uses hands but it works in uh, obviously a different way because it works in minecraft time so between uh, zero and three thousand ticks it'll point to there um and then between three thousand three thousand and six no 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 between zero and three thousand ticks it'll be there from 3000 to 5999 ticks it'll be there from 6000 to 8999 it'll be there from 9000 it'll be there from uh, 12000 there 15000 there 18000 oh my word i'm in, i'm just making a complete pig zero of all of this basically if the hand is pointing straight down it's just gone midday so that the hand will point down at 6,000 ticks, which is midday, and it'll point straight up at 18,000 ticks, which is midnight. Uh, and as you can see, it works. It's working. So now I need to uh, find a space to put the switch that I'm going to have to put a false floor on this one as, too, as well, too. Sorry, guys. Or do I? No, no, I'll do it here. I'll put a fake floor here. And then all of the mechanism I'll stick, I'll stick there. I'm not really going to be able to put it in front of the window so everybody can see it. And they won't be able to see it anyway because it's up in the air. I, uh, I'm either going to put it over there or over there. Let me have a think. Right, I've decided to put it over here. And why not? I hear you say. Uh, and um, we put that there like that. So I'm, I'm going to need two silent timers. The reason for having two... Uh, I found out is uh, you can run it on one as long as nobody sleeps. And because we've got everybody sleeps on the server, every time if it gets dark uh, and somebody sleeps, the time is automatically reset to zero ticks when they wake up. And if the, the hopper uh, in the timer we've got here is only halfway through the cycle, that obviously doesn't reset. Therefore, it'll continue to run, which puts the clock out. It, uh, it, it well, it gets out of sync because the, the the hopper timer is still running, even though it's fast forwarded to to zero ticks. So the way to get around that is to have two timers, and one timer will run until the system updates, whether that be uh, at dawn or whether that be when a player sleeps as soon as that happens the timer will switch over from one timer to the other timer allowing that one to reset and then the new timer is always ready to go i'm i hope i make i'm, I'm sure i'm making sense i hope i'm making sense but uh, anyway in uh, i've not been able to get it to work unless i've done it this way uh, the, the, the clock is always wrong when somebody sleeps if i don't do it this way if you know of a better way tell me because i want to know all right, so we want a couple of droppers, hoppers facing into each other like that. And then we want a couple of blocks uh, above there. And a couple of comparators facing into those blocks there and there. We will want droppers off these comparators. Full tutorial mode now. Got to be uh, hop uh, droppers as well and not hoppers. Droppers like that. And we're going to want a couple of blocks there and there with some comparators coming off of these. There and there. Block, block. There you go. So that is a silent hopper timer. So if we now stick uh, one item in there and then, I don't know, 14 items in there you'll see that these will start pulsing there you go and that is what we're going to use to power that okay so that'll tick for long enough to let a couple of items through or let one item through it will do when the the frill switch is on there and then i need to build another one exactly the same as that just here right so I've built the second time and you can probably see that I've had to move it back this way a little bit. It was here 
I've had to move it back to here because I need a little bit more room to put the old frill switch in. I need to power that torch and I also need to lock that block via via this mechanism and that was just a little bit too close for me to do it. Now I need to hook those two torches that uh, should both be flashing. Yeah, they're both working, aren't they? Yeah, I need to lock them uh, or lock one of them and I need to get the other one to flash uh, and, and operate the switch over there. So we'll lock them first by grabbing a redstone torch like this and putting a couple of torches there and there. That's going to lock both of them. Perfect. Now we need to stick in some blocks. I need to make a little little tower, a little platform. Like that. And then we need to stick a repeater facing into that block. And then a repeater there, a repeater there on three ticks. Bit of dust, bit of dust and dust. And now when we power this, it's going to, this, this throw switch here, this mechanism will uh, allow that torch to flash or to to go off for two ticks okay because this is on uh, on one tick let me grab a, a lever or it might be easier with a button i don't know whether i've got one there you go grab a wooden one gives us a bit of a longer pulse so this is going to act like the like that uh, the torch does there So that's going to happen. You can see that the this repeater lights up first because it's on one tick, locking this uh, repeater here. Then this repeater lights up because it's on three ticks, but the power can't go through that repeater because it's locked, because that's powered. After a couple of ticks or so, that will unpower, allowing this that's got two ticks left on it because it's two ticks behind that repeater. That'll allow the, the, uh, the power from that repeater to go through that dust into this repeater uh, and it will turn off this torch for two ticks and you can see that there and that's long enough to allow the uh, the item that's in one of these hoppers to flow through to the next hopper one tick won't be long enough three ticks it goes through uh, two hoppers which is why i just couldn't use the flashing off this torch because the the flash of the torch is longer than two ticks and it allows the item to go through the hopper or go through two hoppers uh, which is why I can't use it. So now if we unpower one of these torches at the bottom. Have you started working again? Yes, you have. Let's have a run through here. We should be able to see this now going round. Perfect, so that's working fantastic. Now, now we're, we're nearly there. We're living on a prayer. Oops. Now I need to get a daylight sensor hooked up. And we need to power where to do it, where to do it. I need to put, uh, I need to put some power into those blocks there. I've got enough room to do it on this side. Only one would find out, I guess. Well, I found out I didn't have enough room on the other side, which uh, doesn't surprise me really, because I never have. Have you been nicking my? Have you been nicking my dirt blocks? Where did that come from? Where did that come from? Go around picking things up that don't belong to you. So where were we? Right, we needed to power those those two blocks there in order to turn off. One of the, one of the, uh, one of the, uh, the, uh, the timers, like I said, but we've had to do it from this side, which is no, no biggie really. So we've got a sticky piston there, which, uh, with a one tick pulse, and remember, with a one tick pulse, a sticky piston will drop the block. So if it receives a one tick pulse, it'll drop it, and then the next time it receives a one tick pulse, it'll pull it back. Anything longer than a one tick pulse, if I were to set that to two ticks, that would just push the block out and then drag it back in again and push it out and drag it back in. But we don't want it to do that. So this this particular mechanism won't work in bedrock because bedrock doesn't leave the block behind or sticky pistons on bedrock don't leave the block behind. And fortunately, the uh, the redstone block won't put a, a, 
any signal, any power into the side of that comparator. So we can have that there. What we need to do now then is to put a daylight sensor here and dig a hole in the roof directly above it and cover it with a bit of glass. So then the daylight sensor will detect when it gets light and just before zero ticks, 24,000 ticks, I think it's at 24,000, don't quote me, 950 something, the daylight sensor will give off a signal strength of seven. Okay, so we've put enough blocks in here to give off a signal strength of six. And as long as there's a, a signal strength of six going into the, the side of that comparator there, it means that the signal won't come out because of how comparators work. There won't be a signal coming out the front uh, until the signal strength reaches seven. And as soon as it reaches seven, the block here, and let me just have a show you underneath it. It's a monostable circuit. That piston will shoot upwards cutting the circuit and that will put the one tick pulse into the sticky piston which will swap the the timers over as i mentioned earlier it will also put a pulse into this extender here this circuit extender and what that's going to do is it's going to first of all it's going to lock that last hopper i hope you guys are interested in this stuff i really do it's going to lock that hopper there and what it's also going to do is put a, a signal into that block there, which is going to turn off that torch, turn on that torch, which is going to turn off that torch, which is going to allow the block that's in here, the one that's going around now, that one there that you can see moving along here, it's going to turn this dust off. So it's going to allow the item to come all the way back down to this hopper here. And because that block is locked, it's going to stay in that hopper and it'll stay there for a couple of ticks until the mechanism has reset itself and then that torch will turn back on turning on that line of dust there this block will become unpowered allowing the item to flow through into that hopper and the entire system will start again and as you can see at the moment i've only got a few items in there but it's working great so now what we need to do is just calculate a bit of maths here everybody everybody loves a bit of maths we need to calculate how many items we need to put in these dropper these hoppers here to equate to 3000 ticks because the clock is split into 3000 ticks we need items in the hopper that is going to the, so the timer will last for 3000 ticks or just under 3000 ticks because it won't be exact just because of how many hop how many items are in there an item will travel from one hopper to another every eight ticks. We know that because that's what it says in the wiki. So we've got to believe that. So if we take 3000 ticks, divide that by eight, we get 375. Now, it's not 375 items in there uh, because the uh, because the torch only flashes. That torch only flashes every other cycle. So 375 would allow twice as many uh, it would last twice as long as it needs to uh, so we need to divide that by two so 375 divided by two is 187.5 okay so we need 187.5 items in the hopper obviously we can't put 0.5 items in there so we're going to need 187 items in the hoppers which equates to two stacks and 59 items so if i get around the other side Crikey, you guys, I'm, hopefully you guys are following and not glazing over. So if we stick in there, what did I say, 59? So if we stick in there two stacks and 59, that will now run. It'll take uh, one and a half thousand ticks for all of the items to come from one hopper to this side. And then it'll take another 1,500 ticks for them to go back to the other side. Then the torch will flash. The clock will move round one one digit one hand whatever and then it will start again perfect so we need to get rid of all of these let's lock let's activate this actually and then you can so that's how that's going to work and then you can see that that uh, that lit up all of the the system reset and then the hand goes back to the zero hour that's like the zero to uh, to 3000 that's 3000 to 6 6000 i think i mentioned that to you before so now we need to whip out everything from these hoppers. 
they're doing the other side droppers 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 uh, 13 of those so we need to fill that up with two stacks and 59 okay that's already running now it's going to be wrong because a i don't have my daylight sensor here and b um it didn't have a chance to i don't like you they can only pick up dirt can't they they can't pick up stone or anything else can they if i come in here and one of my blocks is missing i know who to blame all right so we need to stick down our daylight sensor that obviously won't work at the moment because it's not detecting any daylight we need to take the coordinates i need you to remember these for me uh 94 minus 26 okay did i say 94 minus 94 94 minus 26 so now we need to get up onto the roof up on the roof where have, oh, where have my rockets gone I know I had a load of rockets. Let me go and find my rockets and then I'll meet you up on the roof. Ninety-four minus twenty-six. You're not right over the top of a thing, are you? You are, aren't you? Are you there? Minus ninety-four one twenty-six. Oh, don't tell me you're right over. Didn't even realise there was another room above it. Is that the right one? Is that? Do you reckon that's right? No. Uh, yeah, it's going to have to be. So we'll stick that bit of glass there. And I'll mess about with that bit of glass on the roof in a second. Oh, yeah. Nailed it. I don't know what I'm doing down here, though. Ninety-four by one twenty-six. Look straight up, frills. There you go. You got a bit of glass. So now that it's in the wrong place, frills. I can't believe you've done. Why did nobody tell me that? Why did I, I can't believe I've just done that. I can't believe that. I put it in the wrong place. Oh my word. Oh my word. Oh my word. <laughs> I'm going to have to go and move it. Oh. Jump two. Love it. Right. 94 by 126. I can't believe I really did that. That was ridiculous. Right. So that's in the right place. That's all working. What we have to do now is just sit around until it gets dark. And then go to sleep. So I shall join you back here at dark o'clock. So smurphy has gone to sleep, bless him. So hopefully, once it gets light again, there's the old moon. Very nice. Now, it, once it gets light again, that should reset and go around to the right-hand side. That should reset and go around to the right-hand side. Why hasn't it done that? Oh, there it goes. That took a little bit of time. I'm going to have to look at that. So that's reset now to between uh, zero ticks and 3,000 ticks. And then at 3,000 ticks, it'll go down to there. Then at 6,000 there. Then at 9,000, uh, 12,000, 15,000, 18,000, which is midnight. This clock is... I'll stick a fork in it and call it done. So now it's up to you guys uh, Jackson Wild and anybody else who cares to play about with it to put a face on that thing 
Uh, and as I say, I, I would put black concrete on there, but it won't look very good in your texture pack. So I'm going to have to call it a day for today, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you have enjoyed the episode, please don't forget to leave it a like. And if you've really loved it, don't forget to subscribe for future videos. And don't forget to check out all of the new alphas. We've got loads of them on the server now. Too many to mention. I think I've, I think I've told you about all of them. Um, but if I haven't, they're all in the description below. Go and check them out. A lot of them now live stream. We've also, we've also got a fans Discord server, which has been put together by some of you guys and it's brilliant uh, i'm overwhelmed by it, if i really am uh, honored and humbled by the fact that you would make a discord server for the alphas it's brilliant go and check it out i'll put a link in the description so once again thank you very much for watching this is fully off and i'm out of here